What's going on? It's your boy, Luis J. Gomez, host of the Roast Masters. Another incredible week is behind us. Main event, Paul Hooper versus Leo Wolf. I'm going to tell you right now, one of these guys really, really stood out, and I expect big things out of him in the future. Um, we got a spring tournament starting next week. That's May 1st, and one of these guys has already been invited to be a part of it. We're going to be announcing that lineup very, very soon. But next week, to kick it all off in the main event, we got Kimberly Congdon versus Maddie Smith for uh, sort of the unofficial queen of roast masters title both these girls are killers they're two of the best so we're super excited about that um today's show is brought to you by betdsi.com if you guys love the roast masters support us by going to betdsi.com use the promo code roast 25 and betdsi is going to give you a free 25 dollars to wager on anything you want they have every single sport that you guys want to gamble on you guys know i'm a big mma fan you guys can do that um you can throw it on literally anything you want they have prop bets different things about tv shows politics uh, Bet DSI has been in business for over 20 years. They are one of the most trusted websites when it comes to online betting. So go to BetDSI.com, use the promo code ROAST25, and if you decide to put any cash down, they will triple your wager. They're going to triple your wager for putting some cash down, so make sure you guys go do that now. Um, also, if you guys love the show, you should know that we have over 60 full nights in their entirety. Full video versions, HD, on demand, whenever you guys want to watch them. Go to GasDigitalNetwork.com. You guys can check out every episode that we have recorded of the Roastmasters, plus 16 other incredible podcasts Podcasts on the network. Use the promo code ROAST. You get a 14 day free trial. You can binge watch them all, then cancel. You don't even got to keep the membership. Okay? Six bucks a month if you decide to keep it. Do it now because as of May 1st, we are also raising the prices. So you guys want to make sure you get in now. We're going to be raising the prices just by a couple bucks. So make sure you do it now because you will get grandfathered into that price. All right, this is it. It's the Roast Masters. Perfect, 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 perfect. Tiger. Nobody is going to come along and save your little neck. I don't need anyone to save me. I shall kill you. Round one fight. Man face you, he is enemy. Enemy deserve no mercy. That's called a quarter blood technique. You do that, a quarter blood will drop out the person pipe. Finish it. Finish it. I'm your huckleberry. Huckleberry. Like somebody just walked over your grave. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the Roastmasters. Please put your hands together for your host, Louis J. Gomez. Hello, I am not Louis J. Gomez. I apologize. My name is. Zach Amico, I am Lewis's hetero life mate, fill it in for him. Guys, welcome to the Roastmasters! Thank you guys for being here. For anyone that has not seen the show before, Roastmasters is the premier one-on-one -on -one insult competition in New York City. Tonight you guys are gonna see some of the best young comics in the city insult each other, offend each other, and say some of the meanest shit you ever heard in your life. Are you guys ready? Yeah. Yeah. So guys, there are only three rules to this show. Number one, original material only. Number two, no physical contact between the battlers except for rule number three, every battle ends in a hug. Are you guys excited? Yeah. Let me introduce you guys to your judges. First, I'm gonna introduce the bi-coastal champion of roast battle. Guys, put your hands together for Mr. Eli Sayers. Thank you. Thanks, dudes. Thank you, Zach. And now, from Comedy Central's Roast Battle, she is awesome. You guys are going to love her. Kim Condon. Yeah. Wow, thank you. Yeah. Thank you. I deserve it. Thanks. And from the Legion of Skanks podcast, he just put out his hour special, Libertas. Guys, put your hands together for Mr. Dave Smith. Thank you. Thank you, Zach. We're going in order of who's fucked Lewis the most times. <laughs> <laughs> Our next judge, the comedy industry. <laughs> <laughs> Hope you're watching this in your hotel room, you fuck. 
and your final judge. You guys know him from his own hour on Comedy Central. Please put your hands together for the host of the Legion of Skanks podcast, Mr. Big J. Okerson. Yeah, Zach. Yeah. You have uh, fantastic Carnival Barker energy tonight, Zach. You are announcing the shit out of this show. It is a little light in here tonight, but I feel good about what's going to happen. Uh, there's, this is very chick-heavy tonight in the roasts. Does that be As good? opposed to what we prefer, heavy chicks. <laughs> well, that's more of a beggars can't be choosers situation there. Uh, any port in a storm. <laughs> that's true. Uh, I think it's going to be a good one. I, I, the, a lot of new names in here tonight to me. So do you know these people well? Uh, yeah, we got people from all over, but we got a couple people who are undefeated, and we're going to have to break that tonight. So we got some undefeated battles, so we're going to see who's the best of the best tonight, Jay. Oh, if, fuck yeah. If no one's paying attention when Jay asked, do you know these people? That was Zach saying no. Was, <laughs> do you know these people? Oh, we got people from all oh, over. Oh, man. Really solid records. People, and, uh, there's, uh, there's women, there's men, you know, people. <laughs> Guys, girls, probably some dudes with glasses, a beard in the mix. Some are from in town and some out of town. <laughs> All right, all right, guys, with that, we are going to introduce your first battle. Are you guys absolutely excited? Yeah, okay. and who's the Edison for? Coming up to the stage first, he is from Edison, New Jersey. He is 1-0 in roast battle. Guys, put your hands together for Boris Hyken. Yeah, Boris. Boris, 1-0, undefeated as of so far. How are you feeling tonight, buddy? I feel pretty good. Are you ready? Are you, are, how do you feel about your competition? Uh, well, we, we don't know each other at all. I, I hope that uh, we don't hurt each other's feelings and stuff and uh, have some fun up here. I smell a love story of Bruin. <laughs> Guys, his competition. She is 4-0 from Long Island, New York. Put your hands together for Jess Fleischer. <laughs> Jess, same question. I just asked Boris, how are you feeling tonight? Uh, nervous. Okay. Feel fine. Sorry. <laughs> Excellent. Guys, we are a little light here tonight, but the more energy and the more loud and the more crazy you guys go, the better these battles are going to go. You guys are going to have yeah. the time of your fucking lives. So I want you guys to give us 110% of your fucking energy tonight. You guys got it? Yeah! That's what I like to fucking hear. Thank you, guys. All right, so, uh, one of you, so the way this works, we're going to do one round. Five jokes each, tit for tat. We're going to go odds or evens. You guys have to hold me honest, okay? Odds or evens? Evens. Would you like to go first or defer? I'll defer. All right, Jess is going to go first. Boris is going to go second. We got our opening match. Are you guys fucking excited? Yeah! Well, there's just one thing left to say then. Let's roast! Fart. All right. All uh, right. Uh, guys, Jessica's a Jew is what her face translates to in Braille. <laughs> First floor. That's, uh, that's fun from the guy who looks like every Nazi cartoon came to life. Uh, <laughs> Boris says, Boris's girlfriend, uh, grandma was actually... <laughs> <laughs> Whoops. Boris's grandma was actually hidden by a Christian family during World War II, and Boris has a Christian girlfriend. The only difference is Boris's girlfriend is way more nervous that anyone will find out he's with her. <laughs> Jessica's parents had her by accident in their 40s, and she had scoliosis as a kid, which is when your spine bends the same way as the coat hanger that failed to sever it. <laughs> It's true, I had scoliosis. We both worked very hard to become straight. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, guys, guys, give it up for Foster the Little People here. 
Boris told me he has a third world immune system. He also has a third world dick in that people only visit out of charity and afterwards they're not allowed to donate blood. <laughs> You may know Jessica from writing long Black Lives Matter posts from the all-white neighborhood her parents paid her rent in. <laughs> she does frequent black-owned businesses, but it's to collect rent money for her dad. Um, Boris got circumcised at the age of seven. <laughs> it was... It was traumatizing for him and for the uncle who had to get used to a new shape. Yeah. He, he actually, he got circumcised when his family moved from Russia to America. It was really hard for him because in both situations they left almost nothing behind. We left everything behind. Uh, Jessica's sister is a dentist, but judging by her teeth, they aren't very close either. <laughs> if you just fix your teeth, you'd actually be really a person with straight teeth. Oh, thanks. Cool. Uh, Boris has the beard of Osama bin Laden, uh, which is fitting because the naked girls on his computer range in age from 9 to 11. <laughs> No, Boris Boris loved 9-11. All of a sudden, he was taller than 3,000 people. <laughs> Jessica went to Harvard and Princeton, which makes sense because she didn't have the tits for Yale. Her dissertation is on 19th century British sex trafficking, which sounds feminist until you realize her husband will have to have a useful degree. <laughs> get married thank you um boris does a lot of shows with the girls from the podcast guys we fucked because uh, he's really good not at comedy but at being friends with girls who fuck other guys well done guys put your hands one more time together one more time Morgendorfer versus the littlest lumberjack. The champ, Eli Sayers, your thoughts? Fucking great first battle. Holy shit. Great job, guys. That was awesome. Uh, both of y'all were great. Uh, I think, um, uh, what's your name? Jess, I don't want to like stereotype women, but you do look like if you lose, you're going to write a bad Yelp review about this battle. Uh, so I think, and because uh, with the comeback and closing stronger, I'm going to give it to Jess, I think. But great job, man. You were awesome. All right, we got one vote for Jess. Let's hear next from Miss Kim Congdon. All right, yeah, that was really great. Uh, you guys look like you were a homeless couple, but then Jess got her shit together. <laughs> um, <laughs> it was really close. Uh, at first, I was going for Boris, but then she had some real strong ones, um, including the rebuttal. I can't let go of the rebuttal, so I'm going to go for Jess. All right, we got two for Jess. Let's hear some thoughts from Mr. Dave Smith. Hmm, yeah. Well, great battle. You guys are both really funny. And you're both really kind of long-winded with your jokes. It was really tough to do at Roast Battles, but you both pulled it off great. It's really funny shit. Even though you both have that inflection that I just fucking hate, like some fucking Williamsburg hipster. Like, I feel like you're judging me. Uh, um... But you were both great. I can see why you're both undefeated. I, did, I, I, I thought Jess, with that scoliosis rebuttal, she kind of took the momentum and closed that stronger. So I'll go with Jess on this one. All right, guys, that means your winner is Jess. But let's hear some closing thoughts from Mr. Big J. Okerson. You know me, man. I get giddy for a good hanger abortion joke. It's, uh, it's the survivalist in me, I guess. Uh, Boris, would have never guessed in a million years Boris was a Jewish guy. Congratulations. Jess, also Jewish? Yeah. Wow. It's a lot of Judaism in this room. Did that feel like a weird battle fighting each other? It is kind of weird about a Jew insulting another Jew for taking rent money from black people. <laughs> it just seems like you love a good bargain, right? 
Uh, I, I also would have went for Jeff, but that was great. I mean, one of the best first battles we've had here in a long time. Both of you guys killed it, man. Really impressive. Guys, give it Good up job. for both of your competitors. <laughs> All right, guys, we are going to keep this show moving. Your next competitor, she is 4 and one from Anchorage, Alaska. Put your hands together for Sally Ann Hall. <laughs> Sally Ann came out here with a lot of energy. How are you feeling? Very good. This is my best friend. Oh, you're battling your best friend? Yeah. <laughs> this is going to get fucking real. <laughs> wow. So we have an over-under. Usually when it is a, a, a female-on-female fight, it's about three jokes in. When it just becomes mean shit, they always thought about the other one. So you guys are in for a fucking treat. <laughs> Uh, her opponent. She is O and O from Grafton, Massachusetts. Put your hands together for Kimberly Denaro. <laughs> Kimberly, losing your roast battle virginity on the grandest stage of them all. How do you feel? Wonderful. All right, guys. This is going to be exciting. We do the same thing. Five jokes. I'm going to do odds or evens. You guys have to keep me honest. Odds or evens? Odds. Sorry, honey. <laughs> honey. I didn't lie, right? Would you like to go first or defer? Sure, yeah. <laughs> That's the right answer to that question. I'll go first. It's your first battle. Oh, no. <laughs> you want to go first? Yes. Zach, is your nationality birthday clown? <laughs> <laughs> it all makes sense. You're a virgin. <laughs> As my biological father, I feel like you should know the answer to that question. Your mother was a clown. I did, I did, I did fuck a clown. I did fuck a clown. I don't care about the animal abuse. <laughs> all right, guys, let's get the energy up. <laughs> versus Kimberly DeNaro. Guys, let's roast! Round one, fight! Sally Ann forces everybody to call her by two first names because if she's going to have to spend her whole life alone, why should her name have to? <laughs> uh, uh, Kim. Kim is such a lumbering whore. Uh, her first boyfriend was an eighth grade teacher while she was in his class. That's true. And she was homeschooled. First one. Here's a poem. Her hair is red, her eyes are blue, and if you just tell her she's pretty, she'll fuck any of you. Oh, guys, give it up for bloated Shakira. Everybody, come on, give it up. No, I, uh, no, she, she, no, as you can see, she has the long, flowing hair of a mermaid. And like a mermaid, Kim is only fuckable from the neck up. <laughs> Sally Ann's only attracted to men with massive noses because she feels that it's more masculine. But really, she's just jealous of how much more cocaine they can fit up there. Headshot. Uh, uh, Kim's such a miserable cunt. Um, no, because she actually got dumped once over text message. Yeah, the message said, please leave me and my wife alone. Love, Dad. <laughs> Sally Ann's the only girl in the city who can consume more cocaine than food and still look brave in a bikini. Bravo, bravo. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Slim Fast Barbie. Uh, you might recognize Kim, not from comedy, but that mean popular girl in high school where you look her up on Facebook now to feel better about yourself.
Sally Ann's not even 30 years old yet, and she already has so much Botox that her face is even more stuck than her comedy career. <laughs> oh, gosh. Thank you, Cousin It Should Quit Comedy. Uh, <laughs> no, I actually, me and Kim are best friends, but we're actually really different. Like, I'm more of a Samantha, and Kim wants to fuck her dad. <laughs> Holy shit, girls are mean. <laughs> Let's hear from the judges, Dave Smith. Well, you know how much I love watching female friendship fall apart. <laughs> so I thoroughly enjoyed this. Kim, do you actually fuck your family? <laughs> no, but I did fuck Sally Ann once. <laughs> yeah, that's true. All right, I will. Hold on, I have to recalibrate my decision now. Um, <laughs> This goes back to the square right. Zach, am I allowed to vote for both of them? No, that's not. You can't do that. I did. Uh, I thought that was a really good battle. It was fun. It's just like by the third joke about you fucking your family, I'm like, I think this chick fucks her family. I don't know. But uh, look, it was close. I do think. I think Sally Ann's experience probably just nudged it out for her. So I'll give it to Sally Ann. All right, we got one vote for Sally Ann. Fresh off this breaking news, Big Jay Okerson, your thoughts. <laughs> Uh, Sally Ann, uh, you're very pretty. I, uh... <laughs> Kim told me she'll fuck me if I say that. Uh, they both did a good job. Let me explore a little more with this you guys fucked each other thing. <laughs> like a full-blown, like, Gash smash or like a gash? Just some of it. It wasn't a, our a, first time. We don't gash smash. You don't gash smash? Because it wasn't your first time? <laughs> hey, <laughs> Sally Ann, I know I already voted for you, but could you not ruin my friend Jay's fantasies about Thank what? You. girl on girl action? Thank you, Sally Ann. Just let him have this. God, I guess Jay, you guys. They, they gash smash. Thanks, That's what Dave. They do. <laughs> They're about to tell me stories of fucking lighting candles and brushing each other's hair across their nips. <laughs> What are we, assholes? Guys, everyone else that does this battle looks like me. Just give them this. Yeah. <laughs> I want a picture your buttholes got stuck together from spit. It's graphic. Good job, both of you. Sally Ann, <laughs> I think you took that one. Good job. Good job, ladies. We've got two for Sally Ann, which is also what Kim had for her. <laughs> <laughs> Kim Congdon, your thoughts? Oh my God, that was fucking amazing. Um, holy shit. You guys did great. You did great for your first battle. Give it up for her. It's her first battle. Did you say give it up for her? She has the same name as you. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah. That's right. Let's give it up for White Kim. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, no, Sally Ann. Holy shit! At first, I don't, I didn't know what was going on. Sally Ann looks like you get drunk and pee in dudes' beds. <laughs> um, but she fucking smashed it. You, uh, I feel like it was a clear win for you. You did amazing. All right, guys, that's three votes for Sally Ann. Some closing thoughts from the champ, Eli Sand. Uh, Yeah, fucking awesome battle, guys. And I do think that uh, Sally Ann edged it out, and I want to see you in a main event soon, hopefully. I think, the, how progressive is this show? We got two women and a plus-size tranny on stage right now. <laughs> <laughs> it's fucking great. Great job, both of y'all. Great job, Kimberly. Guys, give it up one more time. And for your winner, Sally Ann Hall. All right, guys, we are going to keep this moving. Your next competitor, he is 0-1 from Orange County, New York. Put your hands together for Bobby Sheehan. <laughs> you look like an escape metal patient. How are you feeling? <laughs> I'm feeling good. 0-1, you, you ready to get a win? I'm going to be crossing my fingers the whole time. Fuck yeah, brother. His competition... <laughs> He is also 0-1 from Mechanicsburg, Pennsylvania. Put your hands together for Mark Benjamin. Thank 
you. I feel a high energy battle coming on. Mark, how you feeling? I'm feeling good. Bobby's a sweet little boy. This is gonna be fun. <laughs> All right, guys, we're gonna have a hell of a battle. So I'm gonna do the same thing. Odds or evens? You're gonna pick. Okay. Odds. Would you like to go first or I'll, defer? I will defer. You're gonna defer. That means you're going first. Guys, put your hands one more together one more time. Bobby Sheehan, Mark yeah. Benjamin. <laughs> jokes tit for tat one thing left to say and that's let's roast round one fight bobby it's good to be here because next to you i feel like a man uh this is true bobby gets away with rape because uh, nobody believes that he can overpower a woman uh mark if you're here who's lying about their age on grinder <laughs> first one uh, Mark is gay and he likes Asians. He is the worst thing to happen to young Asian men since the transcontinental railroad. Uh, it's good to be here with Bobby. She isn't interested. Uh, Bobby doesn't use dating apps to get women. He uses the Make-A-Wish Foundation. It's true. It's a true fact. Thank you, horse jockey that got fired for eating all the horses come. <laughs> Wow, 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 he's a very nice. Uh, Mark's boyfriends are like bananas, small, yellow, and after a couple days are covered with bruises. <laughs> Bobby, my little Irish lepra cancer patient. <laughs> Bobby's that kid who, uh, <laughs> he pulls up his shirt and drops his pants to his ankles when he pees at the urinal. Still does it to this day. <laughs> He smiles, though, while he does it. Nice. Uh, Mark tours all around the country in a van marked free anime. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Mark is a great host. Uh, is a sentence you would hear if the AIDS virus could talk. Uh, yeah, that's right. Uh, I am gay, but at least I only suck dick off stage. Uh, I, I fuck men instead of women, and women fuck men instead of Bobby. <laughs> Isn't that funny? Isn't that funny how that works? <laughs> Mark supported the Time's Up movement because he thought it referred to a boy's 18th birthday. <laughs> Ah, uh, Bobby, the only boy I won't fuck. Uh, but I will say this, I would totally lick your balls. Uh, just let me know when they drop. Uh, Mark has a drinking problem. It's illegal to drink the cum of Filipino teenagers. Not in their country. Guys, one more time for Mark and Bobby. Let's go to the judges. Kim Congdon, your thoughts. Oh, wow, this is so good. I was really trying to listen to your jokes, but I was so distracted by the fact that this Asian guy volunteered himself to get fucked by you. <laughs> right after your joke. I mean, yeah, I've I never seen an Asian get so excited at a comedy show. <laughs> <laughs> that was, um, it was a really good battle. You guys both look like you eat people, but in different ways. <laughs> um, but I'm going to give it to Moby or Obi or whatever the fuck that guy that's vegan is. The bald one. Bye. All right. That's one vote for Moby. Dave Smith, your thoughts? Uh, I, I enjoyed that. I, uh, I think my favorite part was that spontaneous AIDS chant that broke out on the right <laughs> side of the room. You just, you can't organize that stuff. It's got to come, it's, it's got to be grassroots. You it's know? the go team of the gay community. I, uh, I thought 
I thought it was a pretty close battle, but I'll just I thought the joke of the the battle was Mark's thing about I fuck men instead of women and women fuck me, men instead of Bobby. So, I for the strongest joke, Thank I'll give you. it to Mark. Thank you. All right, that's one for Mark. That means we are one and one. Let's hear from the champ, Mr. Eli Sayers. Uh, yeah, fun battle. Uh, good job, both y'all. Mark, uh, I'm not, I'm not going to get all ignorant about you being gay. I uh, respect your choice. Um, <laughs> I, I kind of agree with Dave, though. Uh, that joke sealed it for me, so I'm going to vote for Mark. But Thank you. Uh, great job, Bobby. All right, we got two for Mark, one for Bobby. Our final vote goes to Mr. Big, Jay Okerson. Way early in this battle, uh, it started off with Mark uh, doing a joke about Bobby eating horse cum and then said he couldn't rape a woman because he's not tough enough. And then three jokes later, I found out that Mark was a gay man saying these things to you. <laughs> And I don't know if it made me think he was funny, but God damn it, I respected him. <laughs> and I'm going to give that one to Mark for yeah, taking control, yeah. everybody. Thank Good you. job. Good job, both of you. Thanks. All right, guys, give it up for both of your competitors and your winner, Mark. All right, guys, it is time for your main event. So this one's going to be a little different. This is going to be three rounds. Round number one is four jokes tit for tat. Round number two is 30 seconds each. And round number three, if needed, is going to be another tit for tat, four jokes each. You guys got it? Yeah. Your first competitor coming to the stage. He is one in three from Charlotte. Give it up for Paul Hooper. Yeah. Paul, you're a very strong competitor. How are you feeling about your competition this evening? I feel all right, you know. I don't know if I'm a strong competitor, but, you know, thanks for saying it. <laughs> Anytime, pal. <laughs> His opponent, he is 4-1 and one from Somerville, New Jersey. Guys, put your hands together for Leo Wolf. <laughs> Leo, 4-1. and one. That's nothing to sneeze at. How are you feeling tonight, buddy? Uh, I'm okay. I'm a little bit nervous. Excellent. <laughs> so much confidence. <laughs> All right, guys. Same thing. We're going to do odds or evens. You guys got to keep me honest. Odds or evens? Odds. Sorry, buddy. Leo. Oh, <laughs> All right. Would you like to go first or defer? I would like to defer. He's going to defer? Paul, it means you're going first, buddy. All right. But first, let's amp up this crowd. Guys, let's make some noise. <laughs> Leo is from Belarus, which, if you don't know, is a small country right beside Russia. So let me just say, bienvenue, muchacha. So uh, I don't understand a lot about the culture politics of the region, but uh, when they say Russian troll farm and factory on the news, are they talking about your mother's pussy? First floor. All right. Uh, first of all, I just want to thank Paul for taking the night off from trying to win his kids back. <laughs> Oh boy. Yeah. Paul, oh boy. Paul, you look like someone that pays his child support with the money from your dad's child support. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. It's a vicious cycle. Thank you, my little babushka. Thank you so much. <laughs> really means the world. You know, they say Tom Cruise is small if you meet him in person. That's what I imagine he looks like. Tiny with a gaping asshole. <laughs> All right. Thank you, my ghost of Christmas future. <laughs> Got to make some changes. Um, Paul, uh, Paul is a recovering alcoholic. He's been, uh, he's been sober for 12 years. 12 years, uh, which isn't... Yeah, give it up for Paul. 
Uh, which is incredible. It's incredible that someone in Paul's life could stay dry for years and it's not his girlfriend's pussy. True. I googled Leo Wolf and ended up watching Wolf of Wall Street again. Uh, what a great movie. I've seen it five times, but I'm telling you, I still love it. Anyway, I eventually found some of Leo's stand-up clips and I, I can't say enough good things about Wolf of Wall Street. I feel like Scorsese nailed it. It's a good movie. It's a great movie. I don't know if that's a joke. Um, <laughs> Paul, uh, Paul. So he ended up uh, going through a breakup. He recently went through a breakup. Uh, his uh, his girlfriend was taller than him, and uh, Paul is convinced that's why they broke up because she would always complain, wishing Paul had a few more inches. Catch me outside. How about she wishes that? your penis was taller. Oh, I see. Well, we got a we got a real Rocky Four situation happening in here tonight. Uh, <laughs> This is like Rocky IV if Drago wasn't a, like a tall, chiseled specimen and was just a whiny, egg-shaped cunt. <laughs> if, if you were Drago, you would never fight Apollo Creed. You would just petition the Boxing Commission to have him disqualified because of his skin color. <laughs> These are tough times. <laughs> Very sensitive times. I know, Paul, I know. <laughs> We know you're sad. All right. Uh, <laughs> we both look sad. Look at right. us. All right. Anyway, uh, Paul's 42. Paul's 42. He actually recently joined the AARP, uh, American Association for Road Hacks and Pedophiles. <laughs> That's the joke. That's right. That's right. That's right. All right. <laughs> Give it up one more time for Leo and Paul. Let's go to the judges. Mr. Big, Jay Okerson. Uh, this was a fucking tough one, man. Uh, both hilarious, but uh, the joke of the round for sure was to me the uh, getting stuck in a cycle of watching Wolf of Wall Street <laughs> when looking up Leo Wolf. Uh, I thought that was by far the best joke of the round. And, uh, so I'm going to give that one to you, Paul. You took that round for sure, buddy. Paul Hooper for me. All right, that's one joke. One vote for Paul Hooper. Eli Sayers, your thoughts? Uh, yeah, fucking super cool, super close. Uh, Paul, it is impre it's hard to do like a whole paragraph and make it funny. That's, a that's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Always long-winded. Uh, it's awesome. Uh, I do think, uh, for the same reason Jay said, I think you edged this one out, but I know Leo, he's great. He's going to come back. And if this doesn't work out, you can fall back on your job as the mascot for Big Boy Burger. <laughs> Yeah, I hope this goes to three, because, man, this is awesome. All right, guys, we got two for Paul. Dave Smith, your thoughts? I also uh, did think the, the strongest joke was probably the Wolf of Wall Street uh, one, and I'll be honest, I didn't even really care for Wolf of Wall Street. I thought, that, uh, <laughs> I thought they tried too hard. Um, I also hated... I, I thought you guys were both hilarious, uh, up until the last joke, but uh, b b b up until then it was strong. I hated both of your phony humble energy when it started like uh, Paul's like I don't know if I'm a strong competitor and then you're right that was shitty Leo's <laughs> all you're right yes. I agree I wish I hadn't said it you can't just you can't just be like oh I don't even know what I'm gonna do and then two seconds later they're like your mother has AIDS <laughs> like it's a fucking you're right, weird transition you're right absolutely right I I like I'm, I'm on the verge of voting for Paul and now he's pissing me off I don't know I'm like no I will I will give it to Paul but it was very close both funny all right, it's three votes for Paul. Some closing thoughts from Ms. Kim Congdon. It was such a fun battle. Um, I'm excited for Paul to go home and take a nap because he looks so tired. Um, it's crazy. I just don't understand. How does every sober alcoholic have that same hoodie? <laughs> H&M. <laughs> All right, it's going to Paul. All right, guys. Oh, yeah. Paul sweeps round one. Round two is going to be 30 seconds each. Are you guys ready for your second round? Yeah. All right, guys, let's bring the heat. Let's roast. Yeah. It's me, right? It's you. Thanks, Paul. Um, all right, uh, Paul is uh, Paul's from the South, and uh, he actually got into showbiz uh, because he loved the idea of one day not having to share a trailer. Um, <laughs> Paul's last name. Paul's last name is a uh, Hooper. A uh, Hooper is also what Paul calls black people. 
Um, actually, that's not true. Paul is uh, actually the kind of guy that will uh, say the N-word uh, because, you know, he has a black liver. Uh, actually, that's why Paul quit drinking. Paul quit drinking uh, because he couldn't stand the idea of having something black inside of him. <laughs> I like that one deserved more, Paul. Um, Paul's name, uh, Paul's, Paul Hooper, his nickname is actually Hoop uh, because that's what he jumps through to keep fucking teenagers. Oh, yeah. My turn. Uh, Leo, uh, Leo here, his favorite hobby is ping pong. We get it, your girlfriend's Asian. All right. Uh, she's uh, halfly, she's actually like half Asian, half German, so I assume her parents met at a war crime. Uh, <laughs> If you see, if you see her parents anytime soon, could you tell them to return my grandfather's body? We'd like a little closure on this World War II thing. Shots fired! Shots fired! Leo uh, worked as a musician on a cruise ship. He played saxophone on a cruise ship for many years, and uh, you always hear about people being thrown overboard on cruise ships. You never, never hear about the people that should have been. They. Uh, <laughs> Leo, Leo is, uh, Leo eventually got fired from the cruise ship for being too drunk. Don't worry, Leo, I've seen your stand-up. You'll be back on a cruise ship soon. <laughs> All right, guys, one more time for Leo Wolf and Paul Hooper. Let's take it to the judges. Eli Sayers. Uh, Christ, super close. Uh, super close. <laughs> Man, I might need another joke. Um, nah, dude, uh, I think, I think uh, you got to vote for Paul. Uh, I really wanted this for you, Leo. It would have been like something cool to like brag about during recess tomorrow. Um, <laughs> I do hope, even, even if Paul wins in two, though, y'all are going to do a third round, though, I hope, right? Just because I want to see what y'all have. Y'all are both so good. <laughs> Right? Yeah. All right. But I'm voting for, but I have to vote for Paul. All right, guys, we got one for Paul Hooper. Kim Collington, what are you thinking? Oh, so good. Um, Leo, you really shit the bed on this one. I like. <laughs> <laughs> I liked you watching, I liked watching you turn your paper over and over again, just looking for one punchline. <laughs> like, maybe it's on there. Um, <clears throat> Paul looks like he says, God damn it, to his kids a lot. <laughs> Uh, and I can really relate to that, so I'm voting for you. <laughs> All right, that's two. For Paul Hooper, let's hear from Dave Smith. Well, that first round sure seems close in hindsight. Uh, but I did. I actually thought Leo had some really funny shit. I just thought you, like, you, like, you didn't exactly have it memorized and you were kind of scrambling a little bit, which took away from some of it. But it was really funny. But Paul, that wasn't a joke, asshole. I was being dead... <laughs> I was being dead serious about that. Uh, but Paul just killed it that round. Paul's fucking hilarious, so yeah, I'll give it to him. That's three for Paul. Let's get some closing thoughts on this round for Mr. Big, Jay Okerson. You gonna make one more person shit on Leo again? <laughs> I'm sorry, Leo, you fucked that one up. And then Paul came, did it, and shoved his size. I don't I tried know, to be tan nice up to your Leo. asshole. I tried to be nice to him, and people started laughing at me as I was doing it. That was bizarre. Leo, you tried hard. <laughs> I can't even. I can't even. Um, yeah, I hope you guys do a round three anyway, because none of us have shit to do, I guess. All right, guys, so that means Paul is your winner. But, guys, they wrote these jokes. Do you guys want to see a round three? Yeah! Are you guys cool with doing a round three? All right, guys, and this one's for fun. Your winner... It's Paul, but this one's for redemption. Guys, put your hands together. Guys, this is your final round of the evening. Let's roast! Final round. Ooh, it's me. Uh, Leo's best friend was arrested for a possession of child pornography. To keep his spirits up, Leo sends him dick pics in prison. S smaller than what he's used to seeing, but at least it's legal now. Puppy. It's true. Um, 
One time, uh, one time Paul, uh, he hired a male prostitute to find out if he was gay. And uh, he, what he found out is that he's a man that can't afford a hooker. Oh, boy. You know, Leo Thank you, and I Jeff. have a... <laughs> Leo and I have a lot in common. We're both short. We're both disgusted by how fat he's getting. And... Uh, <laughs> We're lucky he made it here today. It's, it's tax day, so you, Leo's still trying to write off hot pockets and analies as a business expense. <laughs> Hope your fat ass got an extension. All right, anyway. Uh, Paul, uh, Paul's had multiple stepdads. Uh, one time, his uh, stepdad, he punched a guy in the face so hard, he killed a man. And uh, that's what happens when you say Paul's your real son. <laughs> <laughs> Leo uh, is not the biggest sports fan. He does cheer for the New York Knicks and the Assad regime in Syria. Um, you sort of, you sort of look like Pat Riley if he is one of Jeff Dunham's puppets. You obviously guys like Paul. Uh, most weekends you could find Paul at the Looney Bin, and uh, some weekends he does comedy. I'll do one more. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. Uh, Paul dropped out of high school multiple times. It's not that he was dumb, it's just he wanted to keep having a shot at banging a freshman. Never mind. The last one. I know this whole thing is over, but I'd really like to Conor McGregor you through the front window of this fucking comedy club. <laughs> Just to put a nice bow on the evening. So, not so much a joke as a threat, but out of love. Finish him. All right. Thank you, The Hills Have DUIs. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No, no, no. no. I thought I was last. All right, guys. That was your final round. I want you guys to put your hands together for both your main eventers. Any final thoughts from the judges before we send these guys out? Well, I'd like to say some nice things about Leo, but I feel like people are going to start laughing at me again. So <laughs> I'll just say I thought that was great. That was it was re both f really funny. Both guys. Paul was just fucking on fire today. I don't know how he's one and three. He's a beast, man. Yeah. Or two, two and three now. Sorry. Eli Sayers, your thoughts? Uh, I thought this was awesome, man. I think that uh, the two of you put on a great battle. I hope that the Lollipop Guild survives this internal struggle. <laughs> great stuff. Great stuff from both of y'all. Y'all are both awesome. Kim Congdon, your thoughts? Really fun battle. Uh, it was really great, but um, Paul, you were just... Unlike both of your food, Paul was more seasoned. Um, so, <laughs> he just... You know, he had it. Closing thoughts from Mr. Big J. Okerson. This is like watching two truckers go at a gay style in a truck stop bathroom. It was uncomfortable, most of it. Leo, you really got bent over a stool on this one, my friend. Uh, Paul gave you the business nice and good. I feel like we need to take a whole other round of people telling you how awful it went for you tonight. <laughs> And, uh, no, I think you guys both did a fantastic job. I mean, for a main event, man, come on. Give these guys a round of applause for kicking ass. Yeah! Paul, two and three. I'm so proud of you guys. We'll see you next time. Thank you. All right, guys, that's your battle. Give it up for both your competitors and your winner, Paul Hooper. Yeah! Yeah! All right, guys, before we get out of here, let's hear it. Okie dokie, before we get out of here, we're gonna give it up for your judges. Guys, one more time for Kim Congdon. Yeah. The fucking champ, Eli Sayers. Yeah. Davey Smith. Yeah. And Big J Okerson. Yeah. Thank you to the stand for having us here every week. Give it up for DJ White Power in the back. Thank Guys, you. come back, we do this every Tuesday. Wait, 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 whoa, 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 whoa. How about it for the man? who came in here and covered for Luis J. Gomez tonight and made this thing happen for you at the Stan Comedy Club. Zach Amico, everybody! Zach, 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 Zach! Thank you guys so much for coming. Have a great night!